Malawi, a beautiful green country in East Africa, where, in our case, rural agriculture meets technology and innovation. A team of researchers from Michigan State University, Dr. Charles Steinfield, Dr. Susan Weich, PhD student Tian Tsai, and documentary video specialist Kirk Mason are here meeting with scholars to discuss an innovative project we have all helped to develop and the reason why we're here in Malawi. We are in Lilongwe, the capital of Malawi, at the Lilongwe University of Agriculture and Natural Resources, our home for the past few days. As soon as we arrived in Lilongwe, we met with the vice chancellor and explained to him and other faculty the details of our study. What we're doing is this, using a loose structure of the methodology of the Indian non-governmental organization Digital Green, we will be implementing a series of short videos in which rural farmers participate in the creation of videos that will help them in their competency of mobile phones. Mobile phones can be used for gathering information like market prices, weather patterns, prices of fertilizer. Often though, they are not utilized to their full potential. We are hoping that the videos can help them realize or understand what a useful instrument mobile phones can be. <laughs> the structure of the district and the sequence. Yeah. So you have data as a district headquarters. Yeah. Within data, you have got a number of EPAs, one of which is Vintipe. It's, it's, it's subdivided. So we're going to Vintipe, extension planning area. Within this EPA, there are sections. So these are 26. Yeah. 26 sections. So a section is a block of villages, this one. So we have what you call group village mm -hmm. and a village. A village is the lowest level. So again, this is just explaining what I told you earlier, what the IRB is. Um, First, though, we met with the students from Luanar and the University of Malawi who would be helping with the enumeration of the baseline surveys. They were trained in federally required IRB, and then we collaborated with them on the editing of the questionnaire in order to perfect it. For two days we sat in a conference room editing, but some things were missing. We headed out to the extension office of the EPA we would be surveying parts of, then tipping. And we met with uh, Muriel, who's uh, the head of that office, and the point of this meeting was to help us in, in uh, selecting the right villages where we will conduct a baseline survey. So it's very challenging because there isn't necessarily any one single uh, list of uh, households from which we can draw a random sample. So we had to, um, we had to get some information about each of the sections that are inside this extension planning area. So we could choose two that were quite comparable, but far enough apart uh, so that um, there wasn't going to be a high likelihood of a lot of interaction and communication between the two villages, because one of them we will do the video treatment and the other we won't. So we have Chisiri is one section, and inside Chisiri we, fo we will focus on a group called Chiku Fikani, and uh, there are a number of villages inside Chiku Fikani, and we will get the list of all the households in those villages. And the other section we chose is Diamfui, and uh, inside Diamfui there is a, uh, a group called Lumwira that has four villages. So I think it's the right first step. I am Charles Steinfeld and I am a professor at Michigan State University. Thank you for hosting us. One last step. Before heading to Dedza District to begin the baseline survey, we thought it would be good to test it out just in case we missed anything at all. Just down the street from Luanar, a nearby village would be our test subject. After that, we finalized the survey. We're headed out to Dedza to gather the baseline survey data. We're visiting um, a couple of uh, sections inside the Nantipe EPA. We're arranging to uh, gather a new uh, sample and uh, we'll be talking to approximately 60 village, uh, villagers uh, in each area that we've sampled. 
in order to get more information about their uh, sources of information and their cell phone use.